Attempt number three. That one didn't go so well. It is easier to PB if you don't crash into things. Yeah. I did know that I could add my own emojis. I haven't got around to it yet. Okay, so far so good. I haven't fucked up the first corner yet. And here I was thinking, oh, it would be so easy to beat because uh, I fucked up the car on the last one so early. I fucked up the car even earlier this time. That's a gold, that is. Now the 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 crowd get out the way. It's fine. It's fine. They definitely get out of the way when you hit them. Gog games. Good old games games. Nice. Sorry, I may have crashed into you, mate. I, I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But you know what they say, it's hard to stop dying when you're dying. Slightly overcooked that corner. Oh yeah, Maki, you know these things. What games have got good CTF? I want to get back into Pew Pews and do a CTF thing. The answer is not Team Fortress 2. Uh, for anybody who thinks that Team Fortress 2 has good CTF, go play Quake World Team Fortress and shut the fuck up. Sorry, but you're wrong. <laughs> 
Because my answer would be Unreal Tournament number one, but the game's like, I don't know. It's not quite dead, but yeah. Break, it'd break my heart to go back to it at this point. Maybe UT99 I could do, but not certainly not UT4. Halo Infinite I won't be able to run unless I bought an Xbox, and I'm not going to do that. But I do agree Halo has good CTF. That is true. I mean, I've played Halo 3 and 4 CTF. I've probably played Halo 2 CTF. But I, I remember Halo 3 and 4. Because Halo 3 was free on games with gold at one point. Uh, and I played it then. And Halo 4 was the reason that Halo 3 was free with games with gold. And I played that at a friend's. For a while, we spent an entire evening playing CTF and capture points, probably. Yeah, seemed all right to me. It is the one that I've played, though, to be fair. And, uh,. I mean, I was never, like, serious enough, I suppose, to notice much. Oh, that's a good time. 4, 10, 4, 96. Oh, should you not have the pistol? Are you, do you just want the flag, like, melee only? Yeah, I suppose that doesn't really bother me because I'm so used to, even at the time, I was used to Unreal Tournament and Quake CTF where you still have everything. The only thing you can't do in UT CTF is Translocator. But you can Translocator, you just drop the flag wherever you were stood when you Translocate, right? Um... Which means you can drop it to a teammate by translocating back to safety. Like you can get the hell out of the fight zone while dropping it knowing that a teammate can pick it up if you're coordinated. So yeah, it didn't, probably didn't really occur to me much that I shouldn't have the pistol. Yeah. Yeah, I, I understand, yeah, when you're saying it, the, the point of not having a pistol in Halo CTF. I mean, in, in Quake, you'd be absolutely dead if you didn't have a weapon to defend yourself. Like, you would just be fucked. <laughs> With or without teammates. Because of how easy it is to just focus someone. And get them with rocket splash as well. Plus, Quake CTF would just not be the same... Unless you could bomb. UT, you're not flying it's Mac 10. UT's slow. You can't, um, well, you can rocket jump. But you can't, like, rock, you don't have momentum. You can't bunny hop, so there's no point in, like, rocket jumping for speed. You're just rocket jumping for height.
Yeah, compared to Halo, where you're basically just like walking. I do think CTF works better in UT than in Quake, though. I think the lower speed does help. And I actually think that I will give VQ3 one thing, that it is better for CTF. But Quake World Team Fortress and NTF are still better than regular CTF. I actually, like, I love the idea of CTF and then I play it and I just can't seem to get into it. I don't know why. Insta CTF's always been fine, but I think there's too much going on in regular CTF. Xenotic was good because you get the blaster. You actually have, like, blaster and shotgun. And you can get some weapon and the weapons are so well balanced. But I remember playing it in um, Open Arena, which is Quake 3. Just like vanilla Quake 3. And my god, it's difficult, because unless you've got, like, one of the big three weapons, or at least something fucking decent, you're just fucked. Then, of course, TF2 is just, like, you're fucked anyway, because you're playing TF2 CTF, and you can't return the fucking flag. You can't return the objective. But TF2, I think the thing is TF2 works really well for control points and stuff. So the fact that they fucked up CTF, they could make CTF work. Because people have just straight up modded. Like, you can make CTF so much better by just having the flag returnable. That is it. But it is difficult because you've got so many engineers. Like, especially pubs. I think that's why the flag can't be returned, because... Engineers. They were never a problem in Quake World Team Fortress. Because they were shit. And level 3 sentries didn't exist yet. Okay, that was such a better run. That is sprint in reach, yeah. Yeah. If you like congas, then CTF's good. The thing with CTF, it's so difficult to actually do the objective that so many people just play it as deathmatch. As, like, as team deathmatch, because it is effectively the only way to do team deathmatch in, uh, like, if you just want to, like, have not really have an objective and just go bang. Um, I'm not going to say anything about crashing. Not going to jinx it. Unless you mean Crash Bandicoot, in which case, no. Crash Bandicoot doesn't have CTF in it. Shit! Yeah. Surely it'd be Crash Bash. If someone made a mod, it'd be for Crash Bash. Oh, shit. You could reskin the hyena. Eh. I mean, most of the problem is some of them don't make sense and some of them do. Some of them are harsh. Sardinia is particularly harsh. Finland has a couple of stages that are harsh. Um, and Norway is basically just free reign. Like you can, that's the one where you can kind of go behind hay bales, which is absolutely ridiculous. You shouldn't be able to just like, go behind hay bales.
Yeah, I want to do fighting CTF again. But I don't know. I don't know what game to do it in. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. It, like, I don't know if I'll be able to like split my time well enough because I'm really bad at doing that. Like, it's difficult for me to play this game and Defrag. And I've somehow managed to trick myself into thinking that Defrag Quake 3 and Defrag Zenotic are the same thing. But, like, I know I'd want to just play that and, like, just grind that. I've tricked myself into playing this by going, you've got to stream. You stream every day. You might as well play this because this needs recording. If you think I'm getting anywhere near Onyx, mate, have you seen the skill that I have? I have zero skill. Also, I did look at getting an Xbox, but it would have been an original Xbox One. And then I realised that they didn't have backwards compatibility to the 360, so I was like, fuck it. But the new Xbox One's expensive and I would only play Halo if I was even going to do it and I'd have to buy a monthly subscription and it's like... Also I'd have to play with a fucking controller wouldn't I if I got an Xbox. And controllers are for racing games. Wheels are for first person shooters. That's just because there's nobody who plays in Sweden. I just couldn't get along with this game in uh, keyboard for some reason. I don't know what it is because I've really got along with it with keyboard in uh, drag, but I never got along with it in this. Did try it for a while, but it was literally like grab the. I mean, it was the opposite in drag. In this, it was grab a controller and it instantly PB. In dra after using a keyboard to try and PB for ages, in drag it was. Um, try to learn controller and just immediately PB and keyboard straight away. I think it's because in to be fair, in drag there's a huge driving style difference. In the way that tapping works. Tapping like means that you never oversteer. Never like if you smooth steer in this in drag you uh you slide out. Whereas tapping gives you more grip. So on some tracks it's actually like a completely different driving style. And you have to tap with a controller. I wish there was some, like, more objective-based FPS games. Like, not co not CS, but, like, fast-paced, objective-based. Like, that's what I want.
and populated enough. Because, like, Xenotic, so difficult to get a game. I could probably do Quake Live, but, like, I don't really want to. That community's a bit ass to newcomers, especially since Quake Champions came out. I'm pretty sure you have more hours in Quake Live than me. I did enjoy Quake Live Insta CTF, that was fun. Nice. Half of that's me trying to get the fucking game to work, though. <laughs> actual in-game time is probably trash all. Because like a lot, I think I spent about two uh, two hours between trying to. I, I remember when I first set it up after Lutris came out, not Lutris, uh, Proton. I set it up, and um, the first thing I did was I got the game working, I got it all set up, and then I was like, right, I'm just gonna copy my Quake Three config over then. Custom Quake 3 configs with custom things from custom engines and custom things that are in CPMA because uh, I wasn't playing vanilla Quake 3. So I basically broke everything again. It was like, okay, so now I have to go back through and change all the things that are broken, like the fact I don't have a crosshair because custom crosshair. Well, actually. Crosshair baked into HUD at the time. I'd literally just had a PNG in me HUD that, uh, that sorted it out. Two, thirty-eight, one, six, eight. We should start smoking at the end of this stage. I wish 1v1 CTF works, but Insta CTF is the only way to make 1v1 CTF work at all. Shit, I probably broke the car. By the way, there is a puncture mechanic in this game. I've still never got a puncture.
More kickflips. I really want to land a kickflip where I actually stay on the road. I oh, know. I mean, yeah, you can. Um, I've never seen what happens when you get a puncture. Because no one I know's ever had a puncture. Well, I assume someone's had a puncture. There's people with thousands of hours that I've spoken to on uh, the Discord and stuff. But, like, there's a keybind for the puncture. <laughs> I assume it's possible. But you know the achievement um, to destroy your car and finish a stage with a completely destroyed car? I drove back and forwards into a wall at high speed to make sure that my car was absolutely destroyed. No puncture. It's not part of that achievement. That's how, like... Yeah, you press the keyboard to get a puncture. They just thought they'd add it for shits and giggles. Just to make everyone think they could get a puncture, but they never actually entered the, uh, you can get a puncture. Yeah. And both of those got it by accident. My previous PB on that was a... Uh, 337, 348, and now it's a 138. Yeah. There we go, we're smoking. I think that happened on the last one as well. The last run I did. Where I wasn't smoking at the end of the previous stage. It happened in the interim. Either that or when they redid the... Um, they redid some physics and damage model. And stuff like that to make the damage a bit... They redid the physics, then it broke all the damage and people were never getting any damage, I think. Except for, like, general wear and tear damage. And maybe they just forgot to, um... Forgot to re-enable punctures or something after that. Because I started playing the game after that update. Don't smoke and drive, kids. Smoking may be cool, but you know what I ain't? Lung cancer. Okay, I don't know whether that was a PB because my thing's broken. F. 10. I think it's a PB. I had a look at my total. I've got a spreadsheet that tells me a total time and it was broken. It was only adding up half of them. Okay, I've typed in a number wrong there then. What the fuck? Twenty-five, sixteen, five, seven, six. I, so I've only...
I must have typed a number in wrong somewhere. Where's like a minute that I saved? No, nope, 10 seconds. No, eight seconds. Five. Half a second. No. What? Okay, I mean, that's the time. Yeah, I definitely PB'd. Everything's gold except for one, which is like a third of a second off PB. It's literally the same. It's in the same second. But I'm good at, like, my timer that I've typed all my PB, all my times into uh, a spreadsheet, and it's added up to 23 minutes, and then this has said 25 minutes. So I'm going to have a look at that and see what happens. But that's probably the official time, so I'll type that as the official time. But, um, strange. Also, my previous total was 10 seconds faster than my previous in-game time, somehow. So I'm assuming that I typed that in wrong, actually. I'm going to say that that was probably a 53 rather than a 35. But yes, I think... Hmm. Oh well, that's not for the video. Cheers.